Armenia is a small country located northeast above Kurdistan. The relations between Kurds and Armenians has throughout history been up and down. Let's go back in time to figure out how it was, how it is and how it might turn out between Kurds and Armenians in the future. The Kurdish people as we know it today consists of several ancient people. This is one of the reasons that the Kurds is one of the most heterogeneous people in the world. One of the Kurds origin comes from the ancient region of Kordjun. The name of Kordjun found its way into Greek documents and Xenophon used the Hellenicized form of the name Kardushoi. According to Strabo, a Greek geographer and philosopher, the region of Kordjun referred to the mountains between Diyarbakir and Mush, an area which today is the central of modern Kurds, leading to a lot of speculation if the ancient kingdom of Kordjun could be the origin of the name Kurd. The name of Kordjun has in time transformed from Kurd to become Kurd, and that is according to some sources the origin of the name Kurd. Now, this region was twice incorporated into the ancient kingdom of Armenia, firstly as part of the kingdom as it later was occupied by the Roman Empire, staying in Roman control for more than 400 years until it once again became part of Armenia for a second time in the year of 384 AD. This time the Kordjun area remained in Armenian control for over 100 years. This ancient region of Kordjun mostly consisted of areas around the Van Lake and the city of Ahmed, commonly known as the city of Diyarbakir. Until that time, Kurds and Armenians had lived together for many years without any ethnical or religious conflicts between them. But now, the two people would take two different paths, both culturally politically and religiously. While Armenians became followers of Christianity, most Kurds became followers of Islam. Even though most of the Armenian people chose Christianity, a smaller group of Armenians chose to become Muslims and call themselves Kurdish due to the social advantage that Muslims got from living in the Ottoman Empire. We talk about tens of thousands of Armenians who in time would become Kurdish through assimilation, building up the heterogeneous status that Kurds have to this day. In the 11th century, the Mongolian Turkish tribes moved further into Middle East and Anatolia. Their presence would further and further mix the population of the Kurds, Armenians and other local groups in the area. In the beginning, Kurds found themselves in good hands with the new Mongolian immigrants from Central Asia. The first conflict between Kurds and Armenians would now start as the Russian Empire tried to create an Armenian rule in the area, while the Turks tried to create a Kurdish rule within the Ottoman Empire in the same area. In 1891, the Ottomans brought crueler conditions to the Christians living in the Ottoman Empire Armenians had to pay unreasonable high taxes than others just because of their choice of religion. At the same time, Kurdish tribes got included in a new Ottoman force called the Hamidiyev cavalry. Some Kurdish tribes' leaders was given higher position within the Ottoman hierarchy. In 1894, ARF, an Armenian movement, started an uprising against the Ottomans known as the First Sassoon Rebellion. Thousands of Armenians were killed by Ottomans and Kurdish troops, as the Armenians now started their struggle for independence. In Kurdish attacks against the Armenians, totally about 8,000 Armenians were killed in the hands of the Kurds, while the rest of the Armenian genocide, mostly performed by Turkish nationalists, killed at least 1 million Armenians. Some even believe the number to be around 1.5 million. Kurdish civilians in the area has later explained that the Kurds who participated in the genocide belonged to those Kurdish tribes who gave their loyalty to the Ottoman Empire, the religion of Islam and for promises of Kurdish independence after the genocidal war was over. However, there were also tribes who stood against the terrific genocide of the Christians in the area. Most Kurds actually helped their former neighbors to hide and flee the Ottoman troops from certain deaths 
as the world powers divided up the former Ottoman Empire with the Treaty of Lausanne, Armenians and Kurds ended up with much less land than what they in reality were entitled to. According to the starting treaty of Severus, disputed mixed population areas such as Van and Bidlis was to be part of the Armenian nation with a local autonomy for the majority Kurds. And according to the same treaty of Severus, the Kurds got their own land a little bit southeast of this local autonomy. Now, if you want a new video about the Treaty of Severus and what the Kurds were promised according to the original treaty, hit the like button and comment your opinion down below, let us know. What we just mentioned was also the negotiation results between Sharif Pasha, a Kurdish nationalist leader who met with an Armenian delegation to discuss border disputes in 1990. A hostile response was formed, especially by the Kurdish leaders who didn't like the idea of Armenia getting control over Van and Bidlis. However, the Turkish revolutionaries, which was led by Kemal Atatürk, rejected the Treaty of Sevres and fought for total control of modern Turkey in the Turkish War of Independence. The previous strong relationship between Kurds and the Ottomans, mostly strong due to the common religion of Islam, had now vanished, mostly since Kemal Atatürk's will to rule a more secular Turkish state. During the Ararat Rebellion in 1927, an Armenian leader named Vahan Papazyan attended the Kurdish rebellion as a symbol of alliance between Kurds and Armenians. Later on in 1978, the Kurdish organization PKK organized a rebellion which would become the bloodiest one in Turkish history. During the war, Turkish media often tried to blame other, mostly Armenians and Syrian Christians, for cooperation with the PKK. Turkish media also claimed that Armenia were hosting PKK training camps, however the allegations were proven to be false. PKK leadership has also recognized the Armenian genocide and apologized for the Kurdish involvement. Since 1980, PKK and Asala, an Armenian Marxist Leninist group, have cooperated against Turkey. Asala's main objective is to make Turkey recognize the genocide of 1.5 million deaths of Armenians and to let go of northeastern Turkey and accept the creation of a new Armenian homeland. But since Armenia was recognized a few years later, the Asala movement has become more and more low-key in their operation. Further on, there is also Kurds living in Armenia, about 70,000 people, mostly Kurdish Yazidi fleeing from Turkey. The Armenian government has been kind towards Kurds, opening radio stations, newspapers and political parties. According to the 2001 research, there were about 40,620 Ezidi Kurds in Armenia, and in the 13th of September 2019, the world's largest Yezidi temple opened in Aknalic village in Armenia, something that only proves of the uprising good relationships between the Kurds and the Armenian people. The future between Kurds and Armenia, at least when looking at recent years, is moving to brighter futures, but let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the Kurds, the Armenians and our future. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comment your opinion as we said, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the links are in our website, everythingaboutkurdistan.com, don't miss that out.